Hey people, I'm back. So, so I got the bookcase today. I'm gonna put it up. Also guys, I'm gonna attempt a hack. I'm gonna try and see if I can put this um, sticky, sticky back marble tape behind, um, what is it? The, behind my bookshelf. I'll show you guys how I do it, if it works out. If it doesn't, then yeah, this footage ain't gonna be in it. But I'm gonna put it behind and yeah, I hope this really goes well. I'm a little nervous that I'm not gonna like the bookcase, but let's just see. And yeah. Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> Hey guys, so the bookshelf is coming together nicely, as you can see. I'm gonna show you guys, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm a bit nervous, because if it doesn't go right, I'm gonna scream. But this is the back <clears throat> of um, the bookshelf. So I'm gonna just put the marble sticky back plastic on it. So guys, this is <clears throat> how it looks so far. So, just pulling and making sure there isn't any air bubbles as I go down, I'm using a lid. But it seems to work really well. So, I'm gonna finish it and then I'll show you guys the results. Hey guys, so this is how the back looks. Um, I just trimmed the edges. On focus. I just trimmed this edge so it's thinner, but the sticky back plastic doesn't really can't really stick to the cork board. So I'm just gonna use some sellotape just to stick the back, just to make sure it's super super like secure. Right guys, um, this bookshelf is giving me more issues than I thought. So I don't know if you guys realise, but I actually put the top shelf the wrong way around. I looked at it, I was like, why is the cork board thing sticking out? That don't look right. So I attempted to take it apart and I realised obviously the back has been hammered in. Ah, oh, the joy, it's been hammered in. So there's gonna be holes even if I turn it around and put it there. So that, you know what? No, I just put sticky back plastic all at the top to try and hide it and to match the back because I ain't got time. I am tired. I've been doing this for ages now and it's very straightforward. Like, anybody got time for this? I'm just gonna put the shelves in now because, girl, hmm. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I finished. I'll give you guys a closer look. Um, but I just kind of, I'm just playing around with the aestheticness of it. Um, this is just what I've got so far. Knowing me, I'm probably going to change it. <laughs> but I think it looks cute. Nah, I prefer it. I think it looks really nice. Um, I just kind of moved things that already in my room and I just placed it here. But I'll give you guys a closer look at everything. So the top, I just put all my magazines. Um, and I just put a candle that I got from TK Maxx and a little faux plant that I got from Wilco. And then underneath, we have all of my like notebooks and all my spiritual books to the left. So like my Bible and just spiritual like books, fasting, all of that. And then if we go down, we've got like my novels. This looks pathetic, Looking just looking at it. Like most of the books I read are my sister's. So when I look at the books that are actually mine, which that one, the Poisonwood Bible, is actually my sister's, I need to give it back to her, isn't. And I'm like, where are all my books? Then again, I have borrowed books and they haven't been returned, so. There goes that. And then if we go down, um, I wanna put like my files here. And once I've sorted out my document box, all of that, it's probably gonna go in there. Um, but yeah, and there, that's this magazine is so big, it can't even like stand up straight and it can barely like fit coming out, so. Um, I'll figure out what to do with that, but I'm so happy with the turn out of this. I think it just looks so great. I'm really, really happy about it. Jeez, come on, check out that slow mo. But yeah, but yeah. Stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you soon if this is the end of it. I'm not too sure I'm going to edit this, but I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.